we're going to go across in a second to, to Morgan, who is Chief Sales Officer and co-founder of Audience Project. Morgan, over to you. Thank you. And now to something completely different, as they used to say in Danish television, when, uh, when something completely different comes up. As uh, you said, I'm Morgan Jacobson. Uh, I'm at Audience Project, a market research company specialized in measuring digital campaigns using our large audience panels and quite a bit of fairly sophisticated statistics embedded in technology. I'm here to let you in on a secret today. The death of the cookie is actually a good thing, at least if you're a market research company working in measurement. There's a number of reasons for that, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. But first, let's be honest. We have a dirty little secret together. Cookies weren't ever that good of an idea in the first place. The truth is, relying purely on cookies to stitch together complex media behavior has been a fiction for quite some time. The challenges have been plentiful, short-lived cookies, Cookies, ad blockers, an explosion of devices per user, ID fragmentation across browsers and applications, ITP, GDPR, I could continue on and on. Those infamous cookies surely have been a dubious data source for many years. I guess the inconvenient truth is that a lot of us have chosen to ignore this. We've all had businesses to run, budgets to meet, mouth to feed, so why bother, even if we all kind of knew that a unique user in, a, in an ad server wasn't exactly the equivalent of a real human. But now the spell is broken. Cookie bean counting no longer reigns supreme. No longer is it enough just to keep count of the reach and frequency of campaigns using cookie-based counting. This method has been obsolete for a while, only now it is obvious for all to see. And that's where market research has its revival where market researchers comes to the rescue. Because you can say a lot of things about market researchers, geeky humor, strange hairdos, hopeless t-shirts. I know all the stereotypes and <laughs> frankly, some of them are right. But if there's one thing market researchers are good at, it is to infer solid estimates based on incomplete, often seemingly incompatible data sets. That's the heart of the trade, always has been, always will be. And that's, if you think about it, is exactly what the future has in store for measurement, for cross-media measurement. It's unrealistic to assume that today's multi-fragmented media landscape will yield itself to some uniform standard when it comes to the data generated from offbeats individual very diverse media. Any cross-measurement solution will have to deal with multiple different data formats, each having to be ingested, transformed, and analyzed in real time. Now, make no mistake, the challenge is real. The task is daunting. There's information urgently needed by advertisers out there that's just not available at this point. Each media tend to provide their obviously always awesome numbers. That's fair. But what no one tells our bright seller of a female beauty product, which is the example that I have brought today, which is actually a, a real case, by the way, is the key stat that she really needs, which is, am I reaching a tiny bit of my target group over and over again? Or am I reaching almost all of them a few times, which is the aim of my campaign? This is the type of answer that only solid market research can give given the complexity of the platforms in use right now. And that's the opportunity as well as challenge to us market researchers. So let's pick up the mantle and rise to the challenge now, should we meet the challenge, the road will be paved with gold. Because just look at the Advertiser North Star Initiative. That's a really important testament to the importance advertisers attach to this task. And at Audience Project, our experience has been that we need five components in place in order to deliver on this goal. One is that we need good and large panels, perhaps not television audience measurement style panels because they're probably a bit too small for today's multi-complex media landscape with many different media long tails and so forth, but surely we need good panels. We also need integrations, especially toward gardens because otherwise how are we going to extract meaningful numbers? Thirdly, it is necessary to define standards across different media because otherwise how are we going to compare ad impacts? 
And fourthly, we need to have these advanced statistical inferential algorithms embedded in powerful software, because otherwise, how are we going to, ape to ingest and analyze the large swaths of data that are streamed into our services in real time. And finally, and most important thing, we need to embed privacy in the software we build and not just agree on some contractual guarantee on a piece of paper. Should we build such systems, which I think is difficult but doable, then we're very close to obtaining the goal of the advertiser's North Star, and that should be the holy grail for us market researchers in a cookie-less world. And uh, let's band together and we'll accomplish this. Thank you. Thank you so much for your presentation. And it's so great to see uh, your suggestion for how things are going to be different and better. Um, and thanks for calling time on the in, in the cookie and sort of confessing that it might not have been that great all along. So obviously, big changes afoot. You have a, a very real suggestion for what brands can be doing. But what's the first step? So if a brand is absolutely panicking about this, don't know quite what to do, what's it going to be like next year? What kind of data am I going to get? What is the first and most sensible step brands and their suppliers should be taking now? I think they should try to dip into it. Uh, just do some testing with the available options that's out there uh, and then take a look at the numbers and learn, iterate and learn. Of course, you don't accomplish the objective on day one, but just get the process started. I think that's the most important thing. Fantastic. Well, look, thanks so much for joining Matt anywhere today. Hopefully see you next time.